Right, so we have our camera module. It can um, be a little bit fiddly. Um, I'm going to use a screwdriver. You have to find the connectors, which is closest to the uh, network port. And you just have to lift the little tabs up that are on it. And because mine's in a case, it's a bit difficult to get both sides of it. So I'm just going to use a, a small screwdriver, um, a non-magnetic non screwdriver, just to quickly just lift those um, little tabs up there. And uh, you can see it's all come up nicely. Then what you need to do is to make sure that you have the shiny side of the connector um, facing away from the network port and towards the HDMI port. And then just push that in. Um, again, I'm just going to need my little screwdriver just to get, get in there. Um, there'll be a little bit of the shiny connectors showing. Um, that's okay. And um, you'll be able to see that, that should be connected in nicely. And it should be quite snug and really shouldn't move around at all. And um, you can see there that it's all fitted in nicely and the connector is, is locked down properly. And uh, mine just, uh, my case has a nice little hole for that there. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is we have to actually install the software. So it's actually built into Raspbian. Um, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is just to run sudo apt-get update, which will update your system repositories of where to get software from. Um, that will take a, a few minutes, depending on the speed of your internet connection. And then the next thing you're going to have to do is to run the command sudo apt get upgrade, which will upgrade all of your software packages. Um, but alongside that, it will get the it will pull down the camera module software. This will depend. Uh, this will take uh, a varying time depending on how out of date your software is. Um, but this one here is completely up to date, so everything's okay. Okay, so we're now going to run the command sudo raspi config which is the, uh, the command line tool to set up most of your Raspberry Pi um, software. And you can see that at the bottom there is the new camera module. Um, we're just going to select that to enable it. And just choose enable. It's then going to ask us to quickly um, reboot the Pi if we want to. So we'll finish that and it will say, do you want to reboot your Pi? So obviously we're going to do that. And once that comes back up, we should be able to use our camera. So the first basic feature we're going to look at is how to take a picture um, and you can see the command there raspi still minus o image and then the image name so um, we run that command and it will create a file um, called image.jpg which is taken from the camera and if we just do a quick ls minus l we can see that the file has been created now, if you run this via SSH, you won't actually see the image at all, but if you run it via the keyboard and mouse, this is what you actually see. It will run the image for about five seconds, and at the end of that five seconds, it will actually take the picture. So there is like a five second delay. The other thing you can do is to run, uh, is take a video, and we run the command uh, raspivid minus o video, and then obviously we give it a file name, which in this instance is um, video.h264 and minus t is for time and then it's the number of seconds that we want to uh, run it for, I think it's milliseconds actually. So this will take a 10 second video. And again, uh, if we do an ls minus l, we will see the actual uh, video file there. That's a few meg big, about 20 meg. And um, very much like uh, the other one, if we do this over SSH, we don't see the video footage. But if we run this um, via keyboard and mouse, we can actually see the video um, being taken um, so yeah, it must be milliseconds because it's, uh, it's a 10 second video. And there we go. That's me at my office at work in the morning. And that's the actual picture, uh, quality of the picture that it takes. It's very, very high quality. And here is a, a, a video file I've quickly converted. So if you put this into full 1080p, you should see the full quality of this. You'll notice a few things like the images actually appear to be backwards. Um, we'll look at that later. So there are the very basic things you can do with the camera. Um, we'll have a look at doing video streaming and some image manipulation um, and conversions in a later video that will hopefully put on the link on that camera there. So if you like what I do here, feel free to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all of my latest videos.